Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, that's right, I have another unique team for you all to check out in the Ultra League. So if you're all struggling and you're thinking, I can't win a battle, I can't win a battle, I don't have the meta Pokemon. I'm telling you now people, you do not need the meta Pokemon. All you need is good strategy and the right tactics, know when to switch out and have the right moves on your Pokemon. As you can see, we're running a Gramble with Charm and Crunch. We're running a Bear Tick with Charm and Ice Punch. And we're running a Giratina with Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw. Now, this is basically a Charm team. If you go back and check out my previous episode, you'll see I mainly use Ice and Water. This one, I mainly use Charm. But, it's not a complete Charm team. As you can see, we do have a Meta Pokemon in there. We do have Giratina. You can't really use three Charmers. You can't really use three of any Pokemon because one Pokemon will just clear a map. If you want to try something like this, give it a go, people. I'm telling you, it works. You do not have to um, use Meta Pokemon. Just have the right tactics. Have the right team set up. Know when to switch. Know what you're doing. Know when to shield. And the way to do that is just practice. You may take a few losses, but you keep practicing and practicing. Eventually, you will get better and you will find the right team for you. And like I say, I change my team all the time. The aim for me is to show you all you can use so many different teams in these battles. You don't have to just use the meta Pokemon. Like, so the last team I was running was Charizard, Feraligatr, and Beartic. Totally different team. The only Pokemon I've kept is Beartic. This to show you, obviously, this is the Charm team, and I want to charm my way to victory. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm just going to let you sit back, relax, and enjoy enjoy the footage. But as you can see, this is a really, really good team. And uh, I do take an L here. This is the, the second battle. But this person had good tactics. There was nothing I could do. Um, basically, I didn't make any mistakes. Their team was just better than mine, people. But the other four battles are kicked ass. And we took wins. And as it went on, I got better and better and better. In the last battle, you'll see I absolutely ruined the person. And I thought they were going to rage quit. But they didn't, which I like to see. Because it's all practice. So if someone's kicking your ass, don't just quit. Carry on with the battle. Learn from it. Learn how can I take that Pokemon out. I'm struggling against this Pokemon. Like, so a Pokemon I struggle against is... Um, Melmetal. I really struggle against Melmetal. Now what I've done is I learn. I learn from my mistakes, people. And that's what you've got to do. Learn from mistakes. Don't just quit and think, oh, bloody, I can't take that Pokemon. It's too hard. Learn from your mistakes. Learn to counter the meta Pokemon. And use Pokemon people are not going to expect. If people do not expect it, they don't know what to do. So everybody's expecting things like Giratina, Melmetal as I'm battling now because it's such a great tank. Um, Swampert, other great water Pokemon like that. But if you use something unexpected, people are going to be like, "What's this? What 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 move set is this running?" And then they make mistakes. As you see, so many people make mistakes when they battle me because they don't know what to do with my team. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to let you uh, view the footage. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So I may not be speaking, but I, what I want you all to do, people, because I'm trying to teach people, what I want you to do is watch what's actually happening. I know this is at twice the speed. You've got to try and keep up, but watch what's happening. When I'm switching, what my opponent's doing, when to get the charge move, because sometimes it's not all of, sometimes you want to farm and build that charge move up and release it at the right time. So, Genesect has dropped. New Shiny is Rock and Roller and Genesect. I will be raiding after this. There is a raid in my area coming up. I'm going to invite a few people through uh, Romo raiding. You can duo um, 
Genesect with two. Um, I think it's actually possible to actually solo it if you had someone sitting in with you. So you'd have to have two people, but the person who's sitting in with you would be a best friend and you get actual uh, damage boost for your best friend and you can actually solo it. I know there's another person in with you, you, but they're not doing no damage at all, you're doing all the damage. If you went in on your own, you can't do it, it's impossible. But it's quite easy so to duo, so get out there people. If you get invited to a raid and there's only two of you or three of you, don't think, oh I'm going to jump out, there's not enough people, there will be. You can do it with two or three people, easy. Yeah, please comment in the section down below what teams you're all running, whether you run a similar team to me, whether you run a unique team, but please people, try different teams. If something works for you, it works for you. If you want to stick with it, stick with it. But if it ain't working, change it up people, until it is working. Also, feel free in the comment section to post whether you've got a new shiny, you've got Rog and Roller, or you've got Genesect, or a new shiny in general. Um, the last shiny I got was um, Soul Rock in the wild, wild Soul Rock. Maybe I can put that footage on here for you because I do have it recorded. Um, before that, I got myself a shiny Deoxys and I also got traded to me a shiny liquor tongue, so I've got some nice gold shinies there. Here we go, Gramble versus Gramble, people. Who's got the better Gramble? Looks like I have, I've got the charge move off first. That's all it was about on, on this battle. And what a silly time to uh, use a shield. Now check this out, people, just check this out, right? I'm not, apparently I'm not super effective. Look how much damage I'm actually doing to Gengar. I have to shield because he will wipe me out if he hits me with the, uh, I think it's Shadow Punch he's using. Yeah, Shadow Punch. If he hits me with Shadow Punch, he will wipe me out, so I do have to shield. But just check how much damage Bear Tick is doing to Gengar, even though it's not super effective. Down he goes. In comes Giratina. Bye bye, Gengar. Giratina versus Giratina. This is a very close match because we're both on our last Pokemon. We both have no shields, but I'm just, I'm just an edge in front, people. Such a close battle because this does not kill him. So he could have got his charge move off if he just had a couple more seconds or one more second. Won that by the skin of my teeth. And here we go. We're going to collect all walls. I've got a nice encounter here because I still need a shiny Skarmory. I do need a shiny Skarmory, but it wasn't to be very terrible IVs. But Skarmory is a very good Pokemon in the Great League, so maybe one day I'll have to show you Skarmory in the Great League. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this footage. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out and I'm going to raid Genesect and Rog'n'Roller. If you did enjoy this, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.